Air Shellshock X6 Blaster Review. Included is the blaster with the magazine installed, a few shells, and a few darts. This blaster is a magazine-fed, uh, shell-using spring blaster. I'll go over the external, show you how it works, show you the firing, and then give you my opinion. It uses a different type of dart. This is not compatible with Nerf darts. It's too small, although I do want to point out the cool design of it. Going over the blaster, up front, nothing special there. It's a muzzle, no attachments or anything like that. No rail systems up there for any attachments. This yellow thing is the box magazine to release it. You push on this black button here, and then the magazine will come out. To load the blaster, you place a dart into a shell, and then a shell into the magazine then the magazine into the blaster. Then to chamber that dart and to prime the blaster, you pull back and then push forward and you're good to go. So now you fire the dart, and when you reprime the blaster in order to get another shell in, I only have one shell, it will come out. This is how most uh, shell nerf blasters operate. Um, they just fly out like that. The priming handle has a decent draw. Uh, no real comments there. It's not a particularly powerful blaster, so the draw weight's pretty light. The trigger pull is as expected. No complaints there. The grip looks really cool, and it is pretty comfortable, and it's definitely the right size uh, that it will not alienate a child, yet it's pretty comfortable for an adult like myself. So I think I've covered everything. Keep in mind, you have to have the little shells to operate the blaster. You cannot put in just darts. It won't feed. Beat per second. Performance is not particularly awesome. Um, being a shell blaster, I don't think anybody would purchase this expecting to kick tail in a nerf war because shells are just really irritating to use in a nerf game. But even with the slower velocity, range, and rate of fire and everything, it's a really fun blaster to use. The shell action is pretty fun to use. It's pretty smooth. It, it did jam on me a few times. It was mostly jamming when I went uh, too fast for it, and I didn't get a complete stroke on it. The lock system is not really ideal, because if you sort of half prime it or, or something like that, you can get it to jam a little fast. But if you take your time with it, it's a pretty fun blaster. If you're the type to really like shells and you just like to watch them out, and especially the plastic dinging on like a tile or a hardwood floor goes chick, 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 chick. it sounds pretty cool. Would I recommend this to go into a nerf game and try to shoot other people and compete um, with any level of competition at all? No. Um, it's definitely not a performance nerf blaster. Shells are just annoying. Um, holding this few and then trying to go find your shells, load your shells, load your mag, put it in, it's really slow. But for something to plink around the house with, it's a pretty fun blaster and I think the cosmetics of it are really cool. It'll take really well to paint jobs, especially like futuristic laser gun style things. So for those reasons and the fun besides the actual nerf war reasons, I would definitely recommend the blaster. Um, if you're looking for a competitive nerf blaster, definitely not. But that should be a given because it used shells. Shells are not practical for nerf at all. Magazines are, but definitely not when you put a shell into a magazine. That's just doesn't make sense in nerf. That is my review and opinion. If you'd like to purchase one, there is a buy link in the description box below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.